I'm Branko Milanovic. I'm a professor at the Graduate Center, City University of New York. And I'm extremely happy that on September 19th, I would be in this case only virtually, but I wish it were in person, I would be giving the annual lecture on inequality, uh, which would cover the evolution of inequality in the last two centuries, but would really focus on what happened to global inequality in the last 30 years. So let me give you a very brief outline of what I would be speaking of on, on uh, September 19th. I would look at how inequality between world individuals has changed since approximately 1820. During the 19th century, that was the century of colonialism, inequality went up very substantial. Then during the most of the 20th century, inequality was at a very high plateau. It didn't go up or down, but it was extremely high. This was the world of the three worlds, of the capitalist world, socialist world, and the third world. And then from the end of the 20th century, it started going down, driven by increases of incomes in relatively poor countries like China, India, Indonesia, Vietnam, and so forth. So we have a good news and a bad news. The good news is that inequality today in the world amongst all individuals is less than it was 50 years ago. The bad news that it's, it's extremely high, much higher than inequality in any individual country, much higher than inequality in South Africa. And on top of that, the question is actually what will happen in the future? And the future depends crucially to what happens to incomes and to inequality in African countries. Why is that the case? It is the case because Africa is the only continent with a large population increase, and it contains almost a dozen countries that have between 80 and 150 million people, and the numbers will increase. So Africa will determine what happens to global inequality in the next, in this century, and possibly even the next. I'm looking forward to speaking with you on September 19th, learning from you, and of course, receiving questions and hopefully maybe giving some answers. Thank you very much.